Chapter Four: The Great Wall. Jack and Annie ran around the farmhouse. At the back was an ox cart filled with bags of grain. There was no one in sight. The shouting behind them got louder. Jack and Annie looked at each other, then dived into the back of the wooden cart. They buried themselves in the middle of the bags of grain. Jack's heart pounded as the shouts came closer. He held his breath and waited for the people to leave. Suddenly, the cart lurched forward. Someone was driving them away. Jack and Annie peeked over the bags. Jack saw the back of the driver. He was calmly steering the ox cart over the dirt road. They were on their way to the walled city. Jack and Annie ducked down again. This is great," whispered Annie. "All we have to do is jump out when we get into the city." "Yep," Jack said softly. "Then we'll find the Imperial Library, find the book, and get back to the Magic Tree House." "No problem," whispered Annie. "Whoa!" The cart slowly came to a halt. Jack held his breath. He heard voices and the heavy tramping of feet. Lots of feet. He and Annie peeked out. Oh man! He whispered. A long line of men was crossing the road in front of the cart. They carried axes, shovels, and hoes. Guards marched alongside them. Let's find out what's happening," said Jack. He reached into a sack and pulled out the china book. Pushing his glasses into place, he found a picture of the workers. He read. The Dragon King forced many of his subjects to start building a wall to protect China from invaders. Later, emperors made the wall even longer. Finally, it stretched three thousand seven hundred miles along China's border. The Great Wall of China is the longest structure ever built. Wow, the Great Wall of China," said Jack. "I've heard of that," said Annie. "Who hasn't?" said Jack. Those guys are going to work on it right now. Just then, someone grabbed Jack and Annie. They looked up. It was the driver of the cart. "Who are you?" he asked angrily. "We ah,、uh, Jack didn't know what to say." The man's gaze fell on the open book in Jack's hands. His mouth dropped open. He let go of Jack and Annie. Slowly, he reached out and touched the book. He looked back at Jack and Annie with wide eyes. "What is this?" he said. Magic Tree House Book Fourteen Day of the Dragon King Chapter Four. In sight, there was no one in sight. Dive into. Jack and Annie looked at each other, then dived into the back of the wooden cart. Hold one's breath. He held his breath and waited for the people to leave. On one's way to, they were on their way to the walled city. Duck down. Jack and Annie ducked down again. Stretch along. It stretched three thousand seven hundred miles along China's border. Work on. Those guys are going to work on it right now. Fall on something. The man's gaze fell on the open book in Jack's hands. It's now or never.